Welcome ladies and gentlemen. This tutorial is part of the series Python Statistics Essential Training. And you can find the links to the other tutorials in the description section. So in this tutorial, we are going to be doing some analytics regarding email. In this age of big data, our life and behaviors are constantly being recorded in digital artifacts that we leave around us and in the cloud. It is sometimes easy to obtain this data and to analyze them to perhaps understand ourselves better and improve our lives. For example, if you use Google email, means Gmail, it is easy to retrieve all your messages at takeout.google.com. With these messages, we will go through a combination of data cleaning and visualizing to analyze mail behavior. Uh, I have loaded my mailbox from Google and I have used this stand-up Python library module mailbox to convert my sent messages into a pandas frame by way of a CSV file. For privacy, I am not giving you my actual sent mailbox but an anonymized CSV file. However, in the exercise files that I have uploaded on GitHub, I am showing you the code that I use to convert my mailbox. You may have to do something slightly different depending on the settings of your main server. So I read the anonymized mailbox back into Bandas and we will play with it. I first need to load packages though. And we have columns for subject, from, to and date. And we can see that the subjects are a little funky. They comes from anonymizing. I have also simplified the data by keeping only the first recipient of each email. We see that the email addresses use a few different formats. So we should normalize them. For instance, in the first record, I see my name in quotes followed by email. Here, uh, we will use a simple regular expression. And these are very powerful and you can learn about them in many places. But those that we need is that irregular expression expressions the dot matches any character and the plus matches one or more of what came before so using the python module re i will write the regular expression that grabs just the email i also need parentheses to group the part that i really want So this matches and group 0 will contain the entire matched expression while group 1 just the part in parentheses. By contrast, a different string such as just the email would not be matched. So I can now write a simple function to clean an email address states from my raw string searches for the regular expression and if it is not found just returns the string again which must be an email or otherwise returns the group again let's try it out on the first record very good so now we can apply this to entire columns in the data frame we do so by using the apply methods of the data frame this returns an error and it is not immediately apparent what went wrong so to find out we uh, go into debug mode so go up in the frame and print out the string that got us into trouble the string is actually not a number, 
so it was a missing entry in the data frame so we will just drop the missing data before applying the transformation but also let's not forget to drop out of debug mode with quit command so messages from so messages from is going to be replaced by the result of applying clean addresses to the same column after dropping missing records pandas would automatically match the instances same for two so let's have a look now we work on dates currently these are strings we should turn them into the daytime objects used by pandas which are really smart for instance they know all about a daylight savings time. So let's try it on one. The method is to date time. This is a universal time, so I need to localize it and then convert it to my time zone, which is most interesting to understand what I'm doing in terms of emails. And that is uh, very good. So let's apply this transformation throughout I would create a lambda function on the fly to apply to a change and then add the localization. Looking at the extent of the dates tells us that we have about one year of send emails. We will break apart the daytime objects in various ways day of the week time of day and fractional year which will be good for plotting remember that we access daytime methods in pandas through dt capital dt the day of the week is a good application for pandas categorical variables these are not just strings Rather, they are aware that the strings must take one of a limited number of levels. So let's create that. We will call it day of week. I need to give the function the categories. This is another one of those cases where it may be easier to pick them up than to find a smarter way to do this. As for time of day and fractional year we find these with simple operations on columns i get the or and i add the minutes divided by 60 and i get the year uh, added the day divided by 365 and the time of day divided by 24 in 365 time of day is actually something that i just created so i need to grab the column directly okay now we are ready to plot say date against time of day i will make the dots a little smaller and this looks reasonable with few emails at a night and many in the morning. Some in the very early morning may be related to the trips overseas. We can look, uh, we can also look at one dimensional histograms. The name of the variable is actually uh, an AR not a hist. The most active hours are during the day with a peak just before lunch. As for days of the week, we first tally up the numbers of sent emails each day using value counts on day of week. Oh, Mondays and Tuesdays are the best and then I can plot these in a histogram. I will collect the counts in a variable, keep the ordering of days and then plot a bar plot. Indeed, Monday is the busiest and on Fridays, uh, people are tired 
and on the weekend we rest so this was a little bit about analytics now let's improve on it now in this short example again i will plot the distribution by all of my sent messages separately for each day and then overlay the plots for each day again so uh, i i have the starter codes to load the data set and code for how to convert the dates so i will start by importing packages loading my data set and applying the transformation to the data there are two simple ways to plot the distribution of time of day group by day the first one is to loop over days which we find conveniently listed in the categories of the day or week variable this is the variable and the cat for categorical and categories so i can assign these to an array loop over the array down select messages choose the time of day column and then plot we will do our density and i can also add a nice legend the other way is to use pandas data frame group by again select the column time of day and plot the result is the same here we see for instance that on such a day i have a bout of productivity in the morning and on sundays i start feeling guilty after dinner about an assert message so that was a little bit of email email analytics and how to deal with it hope so you have liked this short tutorial about how to extract data and information from your emails if you want to do some practical stuff make an archive of your email inbox gmail inbox by going to the google takeout it will take a day or two depending on your inbox and sent items etc and then try the similar practice on your data and see what are your trends and what are your statistics thanks for watching please leave a like and subscribe to my channel and share the words